All right, let's go play tennis in the 1885's tennis dress. So your very first layer is going to be called a chemise. That's what I have on here. Mine is real, that's why it has a couple of rips and tears in it, but it is delicate. And then you have your drawers on. Your drawers look a little something like this. They are open in the center. All right, and then you would put your corset on. Now, before you even start lacing your corset, this is the most important thing. Put your shoes on. I'm always constantly forgetting this and it is the worst mistake that anyone can ever make because you will not be able to bend over very easily to put your shoes on. So I'm just wearing a small little boot and ta-da, now we're going to lace our corsets. So corsets, very easy. There's two strings right here and you just pull. Now you have to just constantly keep adjusting them, but your corset should never be uncomfortable to the point where you cannot breathe. Now the next layer is called a corset cover. Corset cover looks something like this. It is literally, as the name implies, it's going to cover your corset. It will protect your clothing, your undergarments. Um, I like to wear them because oftentimes I have a pink corset that I like to wear, or I like to put different decorations all over my corsets and I don't want you to be able to see that. So this is a real corset cover. So once you have your corset cover on, it's a little something like this the lobster tail bustle. If you were wondering, yes, it does look like a giant lobster tail. These are pretty easy to wear. This was one of my first times actually making this and it was so easy and it's so much fun to wear. I imagine that women in this time period literally just went around, just looping their bustle the entire time. But this is what it looks like from the side, from the front and from the back. So obviously what's going to go next is going to be your petticoat. And petticoats are easy, pretty lightweight. Everything that I'm wearing is cotton. It is extremely, extremely hot today. And I don't wanna overheat while playing outside. So this is what my petticoat looks like over my bustle. Whoosh, whoosh. The swoosh factor is a 10 out of 10. Let me show you. I love it. So my next skirt that I'm going to go put on right now, it's really interesting. They have internal ties. So it looks something like this and you would tie your skirt up over your bustle and that's what makes that little pleat in the back. Mine is a cotton eyelet, really lightweight, easy to move around in. I'm not going to overheat and it just looks really elegant. And I base this off of the tennis gown that's in the Victorian Albert collection. Let me hop to get that subtle. So mine ties up in the back. There's going to be a little bit of adjustment. Next comes your swag. And I mean, these swags apron, they come in every single shape, size, color. You can mix and match them, do whatever you want. I wanted to keep mine all white and it is made of the same type of fabric. Now again, they have little adjustable pleats and ties so I can control how much floof I get in the back. If I want more floof, I can do that. These are the strings right here and they just tie up underneath and they pull the apron swoosh to the side. This is what the swag looks like. And let me fix that pleat in the back, there we go. Again, the swoosh, 10, 10. And then this is what your bodice looks like. Lightly boned, very easy to wear, lightweight, only two layers of fabric. I have a eyelet cotton and just a very lightweight cotton lining it. Let me tuck all that in. This is what the bodice looks like when it is finished. Now, of course, I am extra and it is tennis. So I have this little antique tennis brooch that I think is really delightful and I'm going to attempt to pin that in my neck without stabbing myself. And then my hat, really cute, really delicate. 
but it just goes on at a little angle like this. And you wore things called hat pins. The hat pin literally pins through the hat, through your hair and out the other side. And it keeps it on in case of wind. Sometimes in 1880s, they had these little stylish bonnets that were like half hats and they barely stayed on. So that is just what that looks like, something like this. Really delicate, really cute, really, really fun. And of course, no outfit is complete without a pair of gloves. And I'm almost ready for the day. First, I have my antique bracket and tennis balls were actually white. This is a little fun research. Hope you enjoyed that getting dressed.